Symbiosism is a philosophy about the mind and man's place in nature. It is a Darwinian theory, which considers language an organism residing in the human brain and claims that language is a mimetic life form. Symbiosism is defined by the Leiden School. Overview Memes are meanings, i.e. isofunctional neuroanatomical constructs corresponding to signs in the sense of Ferdinand de Saussure. Meanings thrive, replicate incessantly, and constitute the essence of language. An essential characteristic of memes is that linguistic meanings have the nature of nonconstructible sets in the mathematical sense and do not abide by constraints governing Aristotelian logic, such as the principle of the excluded middle. The Leiden conception of the meme contrasts with the Oxford definition as a unit of imitation, a behavioral notion that in Leiden is captured by the term meme. The fecundity of memes as replicators and their fidelity of replication are limited, more so in pre-linguistic contexts. Language is a mutualist symbiont and enters into a mutually beneficial relationship with its hominid host. Humans propagate language, whilst language furnishes the conceptual universe that guides and shapes the thinking of the hominid host. Language enhances the Darwinian fitness of the human species. Yet individual grammatical and lexical meanings and configurations of memes mediated by language may be either beneficial or deleterious to the biological host. The symbiosis is rendered more complex than just simple mutualism, both by the physiological discrepancy between language as an overall condition and the nature of individual ideas conveyed through language, as well as by the ecological difference between vertically and horizontally transmitted memes. The symbiotic theory of language propounded by George Van Dream grew out of the Leiden School of Language Evolution, fathered by Frederick Cortlandt. Resources Van Dream, George Languages of the Himalayas, an ethnolinguistic handbook of the Greater Himalayan region, containing an introduction to the symbiotic theory of language, two volume. Brill. p. 1412. ISBN 90-04-12062-9 Van Dream, George, 2003. The Language Organism, The Leiden Theory of Language Evolution, in Jury Mirovsky, Anna Kotasovkova and Eva Hajikova, eds. Proceedings of the 17th International Congress of Linguists, Prague, July 24–29, 2003. Prague, Matfeis Press v. David Lesti v. Matematico Physicalni Faculty University Karlovy. Van Dream, George, 2004. Language as Organism, A Brief Introduction to the Leiden Theory of Language Evolution, pp. 1–9 in Ying Chin Lin, Fang Min HSU, Chun Chi Li, Jackson T.S. Sun, HSIU Fang Yang and Da A Ho, eds. Studies on Sino Tibetan Languages, papers in honor of Professor Huang Cheng Gong on his 70th birthday, Language and Linguistics Monograph Series W4. Taipei, Institute of Linguistics, Academia. Van Dream, George, 2005. The Language Organism, The Leiden Theory of Language Evolution, pp. 331–340 in James W. Manette and William S. Y. Wang, eds. Language Acquisition, Change and Emergence, Essays in Evolutionary Linguistics. 
Hong Kong, City University of Hong Kong Press. Courtlant, Frederick Hermann Henry, 1985. A Parasitological View of Non-Constructible Sets, pp. 477–483 in Ursula Pieper and Gerhard Stickel, eds. Studia Linguistica Diachronica A Synchronica, Werner Winter Sexagenario Anno MCML XXXIII Gratis Animus Abias Collegius, Amici's Discipulis Goblater. Berlin, Mouton de Greiter. Courtlant, Frederick Hermann Henry, 1998. Syntax and Semantics in the History of Chinese, Journal of Intercultural Studies, 5–167–176. Click here to read, 1 Courtlant, Frederick Hermann Henry, 2003. The Origin and Nature of the Linguistic Parasite, pp. 241–244 in Bridget Bauer and Georges-Jean Pinot, eds. Language in Time and Space, a Festschrift for Werner Winter on the occasion of his 80th birthday. Berlin, Mouton de Greiter. Click here to read http colon slash 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 publications slash art two oh six e dot pdf Salverda, Reinier, nineteen ninety eight. Is language a virus? Reflections on the use of biological metaphors in the study of language, pp. 191–209 in Mark Janse and Anne Verlinden, eds. Productivity and Creativity. Studies in General and Descriptive Linguistics in honor of E. M. Uhlenbeck. Berlin, Mouton de Greiter. Salverda, Reinier, 2003. Letter to the Editor, New Scientist, the 1st of February 2003, 2380 to 25. Wiedenhoff, Jeroen Martin, 1996. Nexus and the Birth of Syntax, Acta Linguistica Hafniensia, 28 to 139 minus 150. Click here to read, http colon slash slash www.wiedenhof.nl slash ul slash tk slash pbl slash articles slash birth six. PDF